guys. Um, I've been asked to show kind of start to finish the procedure on what I do whenever I make painted guitars, kind of like the ones that are hanging here behind me. And I'm getting ready to start a new one. So I thought, well, this would be a good time for me to do actually my first. And to be completely honest, I haven't been doing this that long. I just kind of winging it and um, trying to figure it out as I go. I'm going to be helping teach a guitar painting class this coming Saturday and it's gonna be a really cool class and it's some kids that have had a little bit of trouble in school and maybe got into some trouble and they've been given a guitar and they are going to design and paint their guitar and then they're learning to play it too and so it's just a really cool project I'm excited about it so I thought well this would be great practice if I just go ahead and do this and so the first thing you need is a guitar <laughs> And this is the one I just got it this uh, last night. Yes. And I'm getting ready to paint it. I haven't even seen the guitar yet. But I do like, I, when I went and picked it up, I liked carrying it through the bar because then everyone thought I was with the band. And I felt really cool. I was like giving a nod. So this is the guitar I got. He's a local musician from St. Louis. And I'm gonna open it up so we can see what it looks like. This will be a surprise for all of us, except for, for Darren, whose guitar it is. Evidently there's more fasteners on this thing. Oh, there's even another one. I don't want these things to fall. Ah, there it is. It's pretty. Can you see this? It's heavy. So this is what it looks like. It's got a nice furry interior. And before we get started on it, I like to play a little tune just so that we can we can just get warmed up a little bit. So here we go. Just joking, I don't play the guitar. And this one doesn't have strings. I asked him if he would take the strings off. That helps with the prep. So well, this is actually really pretty. I'm always a little bit nervous whenever I get a really nice guitar because then I don't want to mess it up. And this one has some meaning, I'm sure. Okay, so the first thing I do, if they don't take the strings off, we take the strings off. And then um, this has got like some albacore or abalone, albacore. My mom would be so embarrassed abalone shell on it looks like it's really pretty oh I think I'm gonna message him and see if he really wants me to paint this or not so usually there's some kind of an emblem in here sticker and so I just take you want to protect that so I just I just brought one but I, I just take like grocery sacks anything and I stuff a bunch of them I just have one here but just stuff it so that it's protected <laughs> and that you don't get paint that whenever you spray it with the primer that it doesn't go down in there and ruin whatever's in there. And you just don't want that. It looks good whenever you take it out at the very end. It's like the big reveal. And so then I get, you're gonna wanna protect what I've been told. And again, I don't, I don't play the guitar, but what I've been told is you can paint the front. There's um, two different schools of thought here that it does change the sound of the guitar when you paint it. But like the ones I have hanging back here, this one I did, this was my first one actually. I did it for Christmas for my boyfriend. And it's the Beatles, let it be. And I didn't paint the back or the sides, just the front. And it turned out really nice. And this is just art. We don't play the guitar, even though we have this entire room dedicated to guitars. I'll show you this one. This is the Dolly Parton one that I'm still not completely done with. And this one's just for me. So this one I did as a tribute to Dolly Parton and the coat of many colors. Her coat of many colors. I painted the sides and the front with chalk paint. And that's just a, that's just a natural primer, it was easier. And then I took different coat of many colors, like the coat, her coat of many colors. I used a bunch of 
swatches and patches of different colored material and about probably six to ten coats hard coats of hard coat mod podge and the same with the sunshine around here I did that and then I still have to finish figure out what I'm gonna do down in here and then we'll put the strings back on so this one is for sure art and and I just went ahead but I've heard that if you paint the back on the side it really compromises the sound of the, of the music so unless it's just a piece of art you want to avoid doing that so on this one I think Darren's probably gonna want to play this and it's beautiful oh my goodness so we're just gonna be painting the front so to protect the sides what you do where's my paper I just get regular typing paper you can use any kind of paper you could use newspaper just anything to cover it and just line this and then I use painters tape just painters tape I can't do all this without <laughs> this is riveting <laughs> but anyway regular painters tape I'm just going to show you one little section <laughs> oh I'm a professional it's also easier with a canner I would highly recommend that you had a counter or a desk or something so just put it right to the edge of where you're going to be painting and another thing I should have mentioned it depends on what you're going to do if you're going to sand it which is we did sand the Beatles guitar first and we used a sander sandpaper won't work if you're going to do that you do that before you do any of this but this one back here, the Dolly Parton one, I just used chalk paint for the primer and it worked out really, really well. But anyway, this is a good, this is what you're going to do after either method, whichever you decide to do. You're just going to tape up all of this and then you're going to tape up whatever else you don't want to paint. You might want to paint that. I'm not going to paint this. And then you're going to tape this up too, unless you want to paint it. I did paint this one with black and did some kind of metallic polka dots on it and if you don't want to do that you tape it all up and so that's just how you prep the guitar and then in the next video I'm going to show you how to get started what I will show you is my fancy art kit all professional artists have a very fancy art kit <laughs> this is mine <laughs> paintbrushes, markers, and when you get to a certain age, readers, that just stays in here all the time. And then, so I went out and bought, these are the best, they're acrylic paint markers. And they have them at Michael's, they actually have them at Home Depot, they have them at Hobby Lobby, any craft store. And they have different tip sizes, different colors, and like for the Dolly Parton one, I used every crayon in the box, so I got all the colors. Mostly, you know, you're probably going to need, I use this for like the fine detail and then I paint paintbrush and paint the acrylic paints on that. You can use acrylic paints. I think those are the easiest to work with. They dry really fast. They're easy to clean up and you're going to coat it with a, a really heavy coat of Mod Podge or shellac at the end. So it doesn't matter. One thing you would want to get, I highly recommend this for anyone, especially the class I'm going to be teaching on Saturday is this craft smart graphite paper see here and this is the same i don't know where my white paper is this is i i think i don't know if it's the same brand but there is not graphite there's white so it's almost like chalk because if you're going to be doing a dark background and you want to trace your design from what you've drawn onto the guitar then you would need the white so this is the graphite. If you have, I, I primed this in white. So whenever I got my design drawn first, then I got the graphite paper, taped it all down, and I'll show you that in a future video. And then you just take a ballpoint pen and you can trace over your design right onto the guitar. So then it's like you're almost like paint by numbers, painting in your design. And it works out great. I just, I love it. It's just, and it's a good way, like these kids that we're gonna be working with on Saturday, that maybe aren't artists that, you know, couldn't draw their own design. If they can find a design that they like, maybe in a magazine or, um, you know, 
magazines or books or whatever, then they can print something off and they can draw their design on the guitar and then paint it in. It's gonna be really cool. So that's it for today. That's how we start. Those are the basics and thank you for tuning in. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be beautiful. This one's gonna be really cool. So stay tuned.